Hey, this is Jay from I Drive NY. I'm in Williamsburg, Brooklyn today, and I am going to attend the onboarding meeting for DoorDash Brooklyn. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay from iDrive NY, and uh, just uh, driving through the city right now, and uh, watching my favorite vlogger, my favorite uh, rideshare economy or economy rideshare driver, Jermaine Ellis, um, talking about diversifying, talking about um, you know trying different things. So in this video. I'm gonna just share with you my experience at the DoorDash onboarding meeting. Okay, so I just got out of the session. It was about 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. I got a bunch of gear. So my onboarding meeting was held uh, in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn headquarters. And one thing that I immediately noticed about DoorDash was that they are very regional. So they cover Brooklyn, they cover Queens, and they cover Manhattan. And different from Postmates, which might send you to any one of those locations and crossing bridges and crossing borders, you uh, are designated at least to start in one area. Okay, so from what I can gather from, from DoorDash, if you start in Brooklyn, you're pretty much gonna be doing deliveries just in Brooklyn. So the onboarding meeting was held on Meadow Street in Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn. And uh, it was in one of these, you know, super fancy artsy buildings. It was the second floor, it looked like a loft. It was fine, uh, the building was fine. And uh, there was a, a pretty cool dude in there. There was maybe about seven or eight people who were there to register for, uh, for this app. And everybody was really cool. Uh, most of the other people had worked for some other kind of app and we're just looking to diversify. So um, the room was really small, probably couldn't accommodate more than 10 or 15 people. There were eight of us and it was already starting to feel crowded. Uh, and they started, uh, you know, there was a screen in the beginning in, at, the, at the front of the room and they started uh, just giving us information about DoorDash, about the history of the company, um, information about the app, we were given our red cards, which is how you purchase things. Um, we had to complete our W-9, which is how we are um, earning income as an independent contractor. Okay, so another thing I learned at the onboarding session is about the pay structure, the pay scale. Uh, unlike Postmates and Delive, uh, where there's mileage taken into account, and uh, the cost of the item or the order. With DoorDash in Brooklyn, right, you have to check each individual market. Each delivery is $6, so it's a flat rate. And I haven't done it yet, I just went to the onboarding session, but my guess is that the goal is to try to make a lot of short distance deliveries. And if it's $6 uh, per delivery, you wanna try to get as many as you can within the region of Brooklyn, like in my example for Brooklyn, get as many Brooklyn deliveries as you can within the hour. One of the other things that happens at the onboarding meeting is they give you your your materials. They give you a hot coal bag, which I think is the exact same hot coal bag uh, as the Postmates. They give you a little foil, like a space blanket, retains heat. I don't know how to use it. I guess you would wrap food in it and a giant pizza box, which I guess if you're gonna have pizzas, that's what you need. One of the other things they give you, which is pretty cool, and I love throwing it in my dashboard, is this ginormous sign that says, delivery in progress. And finally, as we come across the beautiful Manhattan Bridge, uh, is scheduling 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 now with postmates there is an option to schedule but 
if you don't want to schedule, you can just jump on Postmates anytime you like. What I learned at the DoorDash onboarding session is that you need to pre-schedule yourself in what seems to be like one hour or 90 minute block sessions. And there seems to be some available ones kind of at the last minute, but you know, just like Postmates, there may not be shifts available that you want, but at least you're able to work and try to get some jobs, even if you're not on the schedule. With DoorDash, it doesn't seem to allow you to just kind of pop on or just jump on the schedule whenever you want. And that's kind of a drawback. Um, and I wasn't aware of that going in. I thought it was, uh, you know, the other way. You can just turn it on and get some jobs. But uh, we will see how um, DoorDash works.